Hi, welcome back to the Dino Fab Lab. I've got a project going today here that's been uh, on my mind for quite some time. Uh, a little over a year ago, I guess it's been, I made a, a dog, uh, a doggy toy as a ball launcher, automatic ball launcher. You may have seen that on one of my other videos. And it, uh, it worked like a slingshot. Basically, it pulled the thing back and then let it go, which was pretty complicated and took up a lot of space. And eh, it worked okay, but it, it just too much, too, too, too many moving parts, too many crazy things, and I like things really simple. So uh, I came up with another idea um, after I saw something on uh, Prototype This. In fact, I got the idea from that. They did their little doggy robot thing, and in that was a little ball launcher, and I paused that tape and stared at a few frames for quite some time and, and figured out uh, a better way to do the whole thing, and I came up with this. And this little mechanism here is the, the prototype to the whole works. So the idea is that the ball goes where this little black dot is right here. And uh, then this lever comes around. I'm trying to do this so you can see it and still let it go properly. And as it, it goes past the center point of this spring tension, it's going to snap, wham, and shoot the ball. So. We just need some mechanism to rotate it around to that point and then a couple of switches to stop it at the proper point. So I finally have uh, something together here that works. Um, it's in its rough stages still, but I'm going to refine it a little bit more today. I've got to get some more lumber and finish it up, but let me show you what I have so far. I used a, a window motor. It's a uh, from a power window. In, uh, in a car since uh, I work on cars a lot. This one had a bad regulator but the motor was okay. So I salvaged the motor out of the thing and mounted it up to this piece of aluminum plate and the aluminum plate was a little bit flexible so I mounted that to this hunk of wood I had laying around. Like I said this is going to get cleaned up a little bit more. And here's the lever that you saw in that little uh, that little miniature working prototype. And you can see how that pivots right there. There's uh, another lever down here on the motor that rotates it. So let's just give you a quick view of what this thing does. There's a switch in the bottom that triggers the whole mechanism. And then there's a switch right here that limits the rotation. Um, as the thing comes around and puts it back in a park mode and it's wired up really simple and then there's a relay to take the load rather than the switches and a repurposed Roomba robot battery and the case and the charger port and again Roombas you know uh, tons of hackable items in those Roombas to play around with and build all kinds of things alright let me show you what this does I'm going to drop the ball in there Wow. So that's pretty cool. Let's pick that back up. Show you one more time. And uh, let me give you a view from the back side here if I can do this without taking my arm off. This thing bit me once yesterday and it wasn't very fun at all. It really hurt. Uh, <laughs> it got me pretty good. Because when that thing comes around, that sucker is moving. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Here's a, a view from behind. So there you go, it's, uh, it's a pretty good little launcher, and it's really simple. The mechanism is really, really simple, and I'm really happy about that. See, the dogs are out back going, get that thing done, we're ready to play, dude. So I've uh, got to get some more lumber and, and finish this thing out, make a little bit of a, a slope here, a little tray for it to drop into, and um, up on the top will be a, a larger area where the dog can drop the ball down in and probably eventually guard all this stuff so Doggy's nose doesn't get in the way. So now it's uh, time to refine it a little bit more and we'll take it outside and test it with Doggy's. Come on girl. Good girl. Hey, welcome to the uh, Dino Fab Outdoor Testing Grounds, which uh, is also known as my backyard. Um, I got the ball launcher out here. Uh, as you can see, I've made a hopper for the top of it now. And uh, I've been working with Sophie a little bit. She doesn't quite get it yet. She's a very excitable dog. But let me show you the uh, the stuff that I added and the refinements we've made here. 
So we've got uh, a better, you know, boards on either side now, all the way around. The mechanism is uh, pretty well protected, and there's a little ramp on the front where everything comes in and runs down to the micro switch. So everything it drops in here, hits the uh, switch, and triggers everything. Let me give you a quick of that and close up. Here we go. Drops the ball in. Yep, see there's a little bit of a problem I gotta work out. Those little things that stop the ball need to be higher because once in a while it'll bounce and go out the back. So there's one of those little unforeseen problems we need to work out. So let's try that again. There it goes. Fritz is pretty curious about it all. Alright, now let's uh Let's give it a go here. We'll give you a few runs and see what Sophie does with it all. Come here, Sophie. Come on. Come on, right here. Drop it in. Come on, Sophie. Come. Put it in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we gotta get some good taste of treats. Psych! And then they'll, uh... <laughs> good girl, Sophie. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sophie. Two dogs is a little bit, uh... Hard to do here. Come on. Come on, Chris. Okay. Okay, one dog at a time is a lot easier. Ready? Let's go. Go get him, Sophie. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. In here. Drop it in. Drop it in once. Come on. Once for the video. Come on. Come on. Right here. Right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sophie. <laughs> She's totally get it. In there. She likes to get right out of the business end of the thing. And uh, she caught one a little while ago, two feet away, like wham, point blank. Right here. Come on. I'm gonna hop her. No, I don't want it. Gotta go in there. Come on, Sophie. Arrgh! Gets a little hung up sometimes. You can still use a few more little refinements, but the basic principle is there. If I could get her to drop it in here once for this video, I would be really stoked. Come on, Sophie. Right here. Come no, Drop it here. Come here. Come. Come here. Come on. Come on. Drop it in. Come here. It's in the wrong spot, but we'll let it go this time. Girl. Oh, that's it. Caught one on the fly. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. End of the hopper. Maybe if she sees me do it enough times, she'll figure it out. Come on. Come on, girl. Right here. Right here. Right there. Come here. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Right here. Right here. Come here. Pretty quick. Come on, girl. Come on, Sophie. Come. Come on, Hopper. Come on. Drop it. Come on. Right here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come here, dog. Get it. You get tired now. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Come on, this is what's killing us all. Drop it. Oh, you were so close. Come on, come on, come on. Drop, drop. Come on. Nope. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come. Come here. Come on. Come on, Sophie. Come on. Come. Drop it. Drop it. Come here. Sophie. Come. Come on. Come on. She was so close. Good girl. <laughs> Come on, get it. Get it. Come on, Sophie. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on. Okay, well, tired out doggy, but it works. And it's a lot simpler than that other beast. So there it is, the, uh, the ball launcher version 2.0.
a couple of little refinements on some things and it's good to go. I'll make this out of wood and then it all comes down to Sophie learning how to drop it in there. I need to get some tasty treats like some little beef bits or something like that. We should be good to go. Alright Sophie. Good girl. Come on, let's try it again. Come on. Okay. In and out. Point blank. Off the nose. <laughs> good catch, girl. She caught that one in the air. Alright, come on.